Hey guys, and in this video we're going to talk about hiring out your DJ equipment. It's a really great way to earn some extra money, but there are a few things you need to think about first. So in this video I'm going to cover five things you really need to think about before putting your equipment up for hire. First of all, it's really important to label all of your equipment so it's easily identified as yours. It's not very expensive now to have your own custom stickers made, so you can have your own custom sticker with your company logo and company details. The reason for doing this is if someone is using your hire gear along with some other equipment, you don't want the two getting mixed up. Secondly, it's really important you have a contract with your client. It needs to say things like, if the equipment is broken or damaged while out on hire, then the client are liable to pay for repair and replacement costs. You also need to make sure you have public liability insurance and PAT testing. A lot of venues out there won't accept equipment if they haven't been PAT tested, so it's really important you do that. The next thing is testing equipment. Once equipment has come back from a hire, you need to really thoroughly test it to make sure it's in fully working order, ready to go out for one of your events or for another hire. One of the main things you're going to need to test are cables, and you can get something like this here, which is a cable tester, and will test all the different types of cables, making sure there are no dodgy connections and they're all working properly. Lastly, it's really important you give the client an invoice with a kit list so they know exactly what equipment they're getting. Not just listing the major pieces of equipment, but everything from cables to adapters all the way up to mixers and lights. You need to make sure you have all the details on there, from all the different equipment, all the different cables, adapters, every single piece of equipment you send out to hire should be on that kit list to make sure that it can all be returned correctly. So that's it, that's just a few tips about hiring out your equipment. If you've got any tips or things you want to share, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.